Welcome to Second Take, the show that focuses on the issues behind the news. The precious metal industry is taking strain on the back of a strong rand. The last quarter results from miners have indicated significant setbacks and losses as a result of the strong currency. Mining Weekly editor Martin Kremer is with me in studio today to unpack the story. Welcome, Martin. Morning, Bryn. Martin, the strength of the rand has negatively impacted on many of the company's earnings in the sector. Could you possibly tell us about this? Yeah, this is a result of speculation in the rand. People are earning high yields by coming in and, and speculating on our rand. And for as long as they earn those yields, we're going to have a stronger rand. It's rather unexpected that this would happen. We're in a recessionary period, and the mines were looking forward to some good returns and did have them in the previous quarter ahead of the June quarter. But in the June quarter, every single one of them was lamenting. Anyone in precious metals, in fact, anyone in mining wa was lamenting this strong rand. And of course, um, you know, a lot of the mines uh, sort of base their business on, on, a, on a weakish rand. And so when it strengthens like that, their margins get squeezed to intolerable intoler levels. And particularly if they're underground and the electricity prices now, the winter tariffs are coming at them, the recession is coming at them. There are all sorts of issues that they're having to face. Uh, and uh, the worst of them is the strong rand. Martin, some of the analysts are indicating that either the RAND needs to weaken or that precious metal prices need to increase because the current situation is unsustainable. Just how unsustainable is it and is it a cause for concern? Well, it is a cause for concern because people are closing shafts. When they close mine shafts, they close jobs off and they close off uh, uh, suppliers who are supplying that industry and manufacturers who are doing things in their factories huge implications and we were not selling enough of our precious metals outside the country so we're not earning that revenue so the, the implications are huge because these mines generate, uh, generate a lot of foreign exchange uh, for us um, and so what happens is when the shafts close of course then the gold price lifts so that's what they're also banking on or when the shafts close the platinum prices lift so there is that market retaliation so Obviously, if the dollar price rose to that magical thousand dollars per ounce that they've been talking about for so long and that the platinum price, dollar price rose, there would be a better um, margin for the rand price. But, you know, the rand, you just can't call it. You know, it, it went from seven rand to 11 rand back to seven rand. It can go 50 cents in a day. So it's very difficult to be a deep level gold miner and deep level platinum miner and a miner at all at the moment. And so if the RAND continues to get stronger against the weaker dollar, what are some of the potential risks for the mining industry as well as the South African economy? Well, as I said, closure. Closure of these shafts. We saw Simmers saying that they've closed one shaft, they prepared to close more, uh, they don't want any blood on the shaft. And, uh, you know, we've seen uh, the Anglo Platinum say so we've closed one shaft, we may close more. So they're all looking at the margin of profit that they're earning on a shaft. If it doesn't meet the hurdle, they're going to have to close. And when they close, of course, it does have an impact on the price because then people say, oh, there's going to be a lack of supply. And with the lack of supply, it does impact on the price. Hopefully the dollar price rises, which lifts the, the rand price. But I think South Africa's got to realize they can't bet on a weak rand and uh, they're going to have to cut their cloth. And Martin, is it possible for companies to actually plan for short-term market changes? Oh, it's so difficult. You know, yeah, you're in a long-term business. Your investments are long-term. You, you're looking at uh, billions of rands in growth that you're going to invest. And uh, you, you do that uh, with the benefit of cash flow coming through. And all of a sudden, the cash flow dries up. So you can't do your forward planning. And the brakes have to be heavily applied. And uh, it becomes a management nightmare. Thank you, Martin. It's a great pleasure, Bryn. That's the show for today. Join us again next time as we take an in-depth look at the mining world's premier projects, industries and business personalities.